Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. Guess what? The winds are starting to go away. Hip, hip, hooray. It's about time for that with our uh, rip current risks dying down and the small craft advisories near shore have gone away too. So things are definitely looking up in the wind department after blowing here for almost two weeks. A gust today, uh, 35 miles an hour sustained over much of the region, 36 in Kingsville. And that's going to be uh, vastly improved here tomorrow. We'll call it just breezy with sustained winds of 9 to 18. They slow down to even less here on uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This improves the beach conditions and improves our water and makes it a lot safer to go in the Gulf of Mexico when you've got the winds down like this and the rip current risk uh, will definitely diminish. All right, the overnight forecast calls for temperatures in the 80s through 4 a.m. We'll drop on down into the upper 70s around 7. Notice the winds closer to 10 miles an hour than 15. That's a significant reduction and we'll also drop our temperatures from 81 this morning to 79 tomorrow morning. 81 along the coast to 76 out in Freer. And as far as the day planner for tomorrow, stuffy and warm and 79 degrees. A stray shower and 89 at noon and 91 hot and breezy at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Highs tomorrow look like this. 92 degrees here tomorrow, ranging up to about 95 to 97 down to the southwest of us. 86 in Port Aransas, the cool spot, followed by 87 in Rockport. Here is the satellite and the radar showing why the wind. We've had low pressure up here for weeks now, a couple weeks. That has now moved over into the uh, East Texas area and moving out. So our pressure gradient is relaxing and the winds are coming down. That's allowed this front to come down. It will stall to our north tomorrow, but tonight it has caused some big storms up in North and East Texas and extending into the Ohio Valley and uh, Tennessee Valley. Let's take a look at uh, this tornado tonight near Canton, Texas. This is west and uh, northwest of Dallas. And you can see that tornado on the ground there. There has been significant damage in that area tonight. Uh, around the Dallas area, but not in Dallas proper. And you can see that tornado working bye -bye, off bye -bye. to the northeast. So again, this has been the scene. There have been over 400 tornadoes in the United States the month of May. So that is absolutely amazing number and definitely above normal. Behind this, a lot cooler air with an upper level low that's kicking out. It's not diving into our region and our pressure gradient again coming down. The storms stay north of us though. It's unusual to see this front up to the north. And again, it will make a run at us and dissipate. So the storms will stay with it, but uh, we won't participate with the front stalling. We'll only get stray showers and less wind here in the coastal bend. Here it is again, a couple stray showers in our northern counties at noon tomorrow, and then they line up along the front at 5 p.m. And uh, then that activity pretty much diminishes except out to the west here tomorrow evening and into Friday morning. Front totally goes away. We'll get a couple sea breeze showers going here on Saturday. But again, a little bit of rain, not much. Don't expect it or you'll be disappointed. All right, here's the upper level situation. Upper level low kicking out. Notice we don't have any low pressure here. This one coming down to the south will definitely weaken as high pressure builds over the area. It was over the southeast. Now it's over us and that's why the change and that's why the wind is going down and our high temperatures are going up. Here it is on the NEC Co-op Energy 7 day forecast. 79 tonight, 92 degrees here tomorrow. Again, a stray shower to isolated Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Not a big deal, but the heat is. Lows drop back into the 70s after being in the 80s and uh, highs in the 90s. How about that tornado up around Dallas that, tonight? Uh, that was terrible. You know. It was, and there's been way too many of them in the month of May, and now we're going to calm things down. At least okay. we're going to get a break nationwide. Why the sudden spurt of them after several years of inactivity? Well, it's just uh, the, the way the jet stream is positioned. Last year we had La Nina going on right, right now. Now it's El Nino, so it's 180 degrees flipped, and that's why we have to be very a vigil about the hurricane season because you know last year there wasn't anything in the western two-thirds of the Gulf and this year may not be that case. And here we start on Saturday. Hurricane that is, season. That's right. All right. Dale, thank you.